How's it going guys? This is Forensic Forex with Deontay and I'm back with another video. This is your daily update for Euro versus US dollar, EU. And as we can see, EU is still bullish. So we're getting that higher swing low confirmation. So previous episode, we talked about this becoming the potential higher swing low. That's what HSL stands for, higher swing low formation. And in a higher swing low formation forming after a swing high broken, it's most likely the commercials repositioning themselves to go net long. And as you can see for the last two days, for Tuesday and today, we can see it was nothing but bullish price action. We can see that we recently right now took out another swing high. See here on that red line here, which is also IPTA's old 40 day low. See how price still uses IPTA's significant price points as a potential area of a trade opportunity. So there could have been a scalp opportunity. So price runs up into this 40 day old low and there is a short opportunity there. We can also see that price each time we got a down close candle, there was buying occurring after that down close candle. We could see here from the start of June 1st, after every down close day, we could see there was some potential buy opportunity. So we had a down close here, up close, down close day, up close, up close, down close day, up close, up close, up close. In my mind, in a very simplistic term, when I am bullish, I want to see price run away from the down close candles and then vice versa. If price is bearish, and we'll talk about that with the DXY because it's inversely doing what Euro is doing right now. But we can see how we're coming below from a discount. We just got that new daily candle that just opened just now. You can see there it's ticking down. We're going to check out the DXY now. We can see how the DXY drew down to where I thought price was going to go to right here with the magnet, that swing low here. So we had a break of this swing low here that we were talking about. After breaking this swing low, that's what SL stands for, swing low, we had a fair value gap. I mentioned that in the chat that I wanted to see a fair value gap form in the near future and we got it. A fair value gap here. Price creates a lower swing high within this fair value gap. That's what LSH stands for, lower swing high. That's also signs that the commercials are repositioning themselves to go short into that retracement or into that fair value gap. You can see how these up close candles, they're selling after it. If you go back to June 1st and look at every single up close candle and see what happens after it, we normally saw selling. We have here an up close, down day, up close, down day, down day, up close, up close, down day, down day. So we're trying to get away from the up close candles and a bearish trend. And if we return back into those up close candles, I will look at that as a sign where price should respect it and it should hold suit and run away from it. So if price were in theory, I'll take off the magnet tool. If we're bearish, price comes down and runs back into these up close candles here. I want to see signs of respect. I want to see it run into it, run away. So some classic ICT order block theory. So all in all, that's what I'm seeing right now. Dollar still reaching lower. You can see how we started above the opening price for June. And I say this all the time, if the market is going to be trending down, those premium sales are not going to last long. Same thing, vice versa. If you are bullish, those discount buys, you see how price was below the opening price for the month of June right here. That's the line, that dashed line that's gray. Look at how that discounted price didn't last long. It was only in a discount for a couple of days and it finally left it. I would like to see EU potentially continue to trend higher. I don't see any signs of bearishness yet unless we get a shift on the higher time frame. So like price breaking a swing low or price showing great signs of respecting a bearish order block. So trading up into an up close candle and then giving a strong reaction down. But at this point, we recently broke a swing high. So I would alert that here. I could take this one off. And now I'm expecting potentially a, another higher swing low of the form. Or anytime I get a down close day, I could be slowly compounding small percentages to go long to reach for potential swing highs here. And then ultimately, we could potentially see ourselves getting back to the 20 day high. Do I have any idea where price is going to go? Not necessarily. I'm just following the flow where market is most likely going to lead me. And I think EU is bullish. Same thing for GU. So if we were to go down, this is the euros futures also showing the same signs as EU. Go to British pound. 
showing signs of what being bullish, right? Discount price broke a swing high. You got that higher swing low here in that blue line. Price is moving up down close day. Look at how price runs away from it. It's bullish. Just check AU real quick. Same thing here. If we're going to do it briefly. Start of June down close day. Look one down close day, guys. One, just one. And after that one down day, look at the legs going up. Where are we trying to get to? Up here. And we just got there. And let's see if we got one more. That's UCAD. I'll just check New Zealand dollar USD. This normally is like a bonus for me. Get to that text in a second. I don't really look at the New Zealand dollar too often. But you can also see here. We go to June. Here. Look at our price. Every time you got a down close day. This is just a little tip. If you're bullish down close day and you don't have much time to like look at the charts, just buy in the discount for the day and hold for the next couple days or next week or so. And more and surely, if you got the bias right, you're going to be in profit. Down close day, buy. Down close day, buy. Down close day, buy. It's not rocket science. So if we look at EU on a hourly perspective, Sunday to Friday, we can see here we had that swing high formation that we were talking about on the daily. So we can see here that's that swing high that I was marking off. Yeah, and right here. So that's that swing high here. That's what we had here on the hourly. Price runs right into it. You see how price takes out sell side right there for Wednesday. Sell side right there, real quick. London takes it out. Asian session accumulation, manipulation, New York distribution. That's what you're seeing there. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. So we can put this on real quick. There we go. Accumulation, manipulation, distribution. Distribution runs up right into that swing high. Taking out what? The previous daily high. Same thing, vice versa to the DXY. We can see here, last episode, I was showing this as well. We can see how price takes out nothing but sell side liquidity does not run up and take out that high. I would prefer, like I said, commercials are most likely to sell after taking out highs. I would have preferred price come up, boom, and then give us the drop. But it's not always going to be picture perfect that way. It took out some clean highs, as we can see, and then ran lower. But if we look at it from AMD setup, accumulation, manipulation in London, London makes the high of the day, price trades all the way back down getting down to that swing low if you look at dxy briefly before we go i have to do it this way what did the dxy just recently run into right down here if you look to the left i said old oh, if the 40 day look back high so like i said even though that this high was broken relative to june 1st it's still a data point that's sensitive to price action price trades down into it and look at that reaction and also, we have that reference point of that swing low here. But look at how price hits it. There would have been a small opportunity for a counter trend reversal probably during London close. So you can see that's what happened here. New York comes down, hits that swing low. 40-day low is somewhere below here. And you can see it comes back up. So hopefully this was insightful. Peace.